Well, that's loading up. So we'll take off from Burlington, Vermont, KBTV. Um, I think we'll probably do... Uh, the weather is uh, visible. Uh, I don't know what the standard runway is, but the winds are five knots, so we're fine at either runway. Uh, we can take off runway th three three. Where's the terminal? Where's the terminal? So yeah, we could go three three or one five. Ooh, this airport looks a lot better. All right, glad we caught that quickly. Let's go uh, up here. Shouldn't have the rays in the cockpit, in my opinion. All right, battery on. Standby power to auto. Uh, ground services. Yeah, we got 10.8 on the fuel. That looks all good. Let's start the APU again. I'm betting 10,000 on 31. Okay, APUs. Stabilizing. Red 36. <laughs> APU gens on uh, position light can go to on. IRS to nav. FMC position set. Uh, GPS left. Reference airport. Kilo. Bravo. Tango. Victa. Uh, let's come up here and set the yaw damper on fuel pumps oops I should have had a fuel pump on already huh for the APU galley power is already on for a mundos hope it's some good coffee I've never liked any coffee on any airline ever just is that, I, uh, have I just had bad luck? Emergency lights, armed, passenger signs. Auto, window heat. Recirc fan. And uh, left and right pack to auto. Actually, actually, we'll do right pack off for the time being. Hydraulic pumps on. Uh, RTO. Let's just take a quick gander at uh, our arrival airport, KPVD. The weather is showing 0704. So re really any runway. So we're going to land either 2, 3, or 5. Uh, let's land 2, 3. Man, I need more coffee. You guys didn't catch that either. I don't know how it did that.
Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, so Lamed Albany. Execute that. And then the arrivals into Providence. We're doing the Whipper 3 with the Albany transition. And we're going to go ILS 2-3. Uh, no transition there. Execute. All right, now let's look at this. Lamed, Albany, Whipper, th Whipper 3, Vectors. That'll, that looks good. All right, perfect. Init looks good. Okay. Let's do perf. Uh, gross weight today. We have a zero fuel weight of uh, 82.4. So 82.4. And reserves today are 6.5. We're going low. We're going at 230. And no D rate, flaps five is fine. V one one fifteen, V R one seventeen, V two one two eight. Okay. Make sure your patience on that. Let's see if the go pi the go flight panel will actually overk. Which it's not responding. Oh, maybe it is. Alright, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to downloads. And then I'm going to go to that one. MCP Pro import. Please work. All right, back to chat. Uh, how do you stream the iPad to the PC? Um, I use a program called Air Server Viper. Uh, Air Server allows me to display the iPad screen on the computer, and then I just put it into OBS under a, uh, a window capture. That did not work. Dang it. Hmm. Captain Boeing, are you still here? I'm going to restart that. Let's see what happens here. Uh, Viper, it's 450 bucks. I think I did have it working with the IXCG at one point, though. Uh, import wizard. Let me double check to make sure that that profile is the correct profile. No, that's not that. Not that, that one. Yep, that's it. Okay. MCP Pro, come on, work this time. <gasps> I think it worked. Yes, see, it's finicky. It's finicky. It's finicky. But oh, it, oh, there we go. There we go. It's still thinking. I think we're good. I think we got altitude, heading, speed. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Close that. Move this over there. All right. Let's see if this. Let's see. Let's see if this works. We'll zoom in. Oh, look at that! Makes me so happy. Uh, here's heading. Here's speed. Yeah, baby. Here's course. And over here's course. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, continue down the checklist. Quit getting so excited. Ah, flight directors. Alright, so let's go. Flight director on. That worked. Uh first officer side. Flight director on. That worked. 
uh, heading today. We're going to go heading 330, so we'll rotate that around to 330. Memorize flows. I know I should. Heading, all right, our initial altitude. We're doing just a, we're not doing a star per, or a SID. We'll go ahead and put initial altitude up to uh, 18,000. Ooh, that's slow. I wonder if I can change that. Nope. Doesn't like that. Huh. That's slower than it is in the other planes. That's okay, though. Memorize flows. You'll enjoy simming more. Yeah. That's probably true. The problem is, is that if I focused... I don't have the brain, I think. I mean, yes. Here's the bottom line. I could get in this plane... And I could go through mashing buttons and turning on knobs and switching things, and I could get it to fly. And I could get, you know, we, you know, half the time we'd survive. But I missed that little tiny thing that maybe wasn't required, but I just want, you know, I want to follow it as accurately. And the problem is, is that I fly literally 20 different planes. I have so many planes that I fly, and so it's hard to memorize the flows on each one. I mean, I probably flew this IXCG two, three weeks ago. I mean, I could do it, but yeah. All right, let's do the bleeds. Uh, I should have had that on earlier, APU bleed. That's the problem. Yeah. Armchair aviator, how you doing, Micah? What happened while I was gone? Uh, I gave away five thousand dollars, and we had a, we had a, we had a winner for five thousand dollars. It was pretty cool. Uh, let's see, barometer is three zero zero eight. So, oh snap! Armchair aviator with the five months subscription. Thank you for the subscribe. To uh, see 3008. Thank you very much for the support. We'll go over here and set the first officer side. Three. We got a subscribe. We do have a subscribe. 3008 is set. Let's try pushback. I've never. I don't recall doing the uh, better pushback plug-in. Oh, look at the bare metal. Oh my gosh. Cessna rocks. Thank you, Armchair Aviator. This uh, this departure is dedicated to Armchair Aviator. Brought to you by... How about focusing on one type for flows? Uh, yeah. I could do that. I think my Zebo flows pretty good. I just still go off the list, but your dad, your dad flew these, yeah. I think I flew Western one time when I was a kid. We're pretty far back from the gate. Okay, let's do better pushback pre-plan. And let's see. Do I want to push back tail south? Yeah. Wait, I want to go. I love that zoom out. There's runway three three. Okay. A seven four seven, yeah. 
Alright, we'll push back right like that. Round a cockpit, plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. Okay, better push back, start push back. Am I using a joystick or a yoke? I'm using a joystick. Wow, this is gorgeous. Can you hear that APU? are closed, ready to connect. APU on takeoff today out of Denver. <laughs> APU on takeoff. Yeah. Wow. Uh yes, armchair aviator. Yep, better push back. Plug in. I just got hosted. The most Titan 2002, thank you very much for the host. I appreciate that. Welcome everyone from the Titan stream. Engine anti-ice on and APU on for your Denver takeoff. And bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Parking brake is released. Starting pushback and you may start engines. Starting to push back, and I'm not going to start engines because I want to. I want to watch the pushback. <laughs> I really should be starting engines, but <laughs> yeah. So for a Denver takeoff. You need that extra, that little extra air, huh? Because it's a mile high. Let's do a tug view. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Passenger comfort. The old United livery looks good. Yeah. Yeah, it, the the MCP panel is working much better. Uh, for for this plane than it is the flight factor, but I haven't tweaked the uh, profile for the flight factor yet. But it looks like it's fully functional. We're gonna find out what buttons work and what ones don't. Good pushback. All right, we'll start engines. All right, let's do packs off. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Parking brake is set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. I should have had that any collision on already. Uh, starting number two. We'll add fuel here in just a moment. Adding fuel. What do they say about the IXEG? It just has soul. It does. It has soul. Trip taker, it, thanks for uh, your comment. Welcome aboard. Toe is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. 
Hand signal will be on the right. We'll see you next time and have a great flight. Thank you. Have a great day. Slow picker, hello. Lars Rass, hello. If I didn't say hello earlier. All right, number one. Jonathan, IXEG is the king, is your opinion. It's not my favorite, but it's it's certainly a fun plane to fly. I better not hot start this bad boy. It just looks good. It looks good. Running reject. This is X plane 11. Yep. What's the highest screw, uh, cruise speed of an Embraer 195? I don't know. Mayor Mose could tell you because he is a real world Embraer pilot. He could tell you. 737 Classic. Welcome to the 60s. No, actually, it's not the 60s. This thing was made up until 1984, wasn't it? And didn't it start in the uh, in the seventies, and then it was built up until eighty four, I think. I don't know. All right, Jen. Jens can come on. Pedo heat. Anti-ice not required. Left and right pack to auto. APU bleed off. Come on. There we go. APU bleed off. Engine set to continuous. For takeoff. Flaps five. Trim today. Will be three point four. So there's three point four. Taxi light on. Runway turn off lights on. And let's tell let's taxi. The first flight was in 84. Built until 2000. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, designed in the 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first flight was in 84. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you for the... That's right. That's right. Okay, here's a little taxi taxi. The 7-3 is the worst example of dinosaur systems management ever. Hey, so Miramals, I have a question for you. If you were given an opportunity to fly 737s for Delta, would you? Would you uh, Would you go fly them? Like they said, hey, we're going to train you on the 7-3 and get you all good to go and you're going to be flying 7-3s for us. I'm just curious what you, uh, if you would do that or not. Okay, so. Oh, who, oh, did you update the plane? Thanks. Thanks, Cessna. Let's see here. I would love to fly a 7 3. Oh snap! We got a subscribe. 
Viper EKTV with the subscribe. Thank you. Welcome to the Snack Shack. Thank you for the support. I appreciate that. We've been told to we line up. We got a subscribe. Actually, you know what? We got a subscribe. We're not going to take off of this runway. We've been told by the tower to use this as a taxiway. We do have a subscribe. Thank you, Viper. Is EKTV a, an airport code? What part of the world are you from? Europe? Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. We do have a subscribe. Turn signal. Speaking of turn signal, I need to drive the truck again. EKTV is not an airport code? Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a European airport code. Alright, we're going to taxi down Charlie. It's a, it's a quality stream. Oh, thank you. Or EKTV is a quality stream. KBTV sounds like a TV channel. It does. Uh, Zebo's on 3.10 Zulu. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm on 3.06 Papa still. Do you know how to do data ref editing, Colin? Because if you do know how to do data ref editing, I might need your help. Whoa, we're going way too fast. You don't? Okay. I need to talk to Total Ricco or the J Snaps or the Flight Logics of the world. But I'm told to line up and wait on runway a three a three. Ryanair taxi speed, yeah, or southwest. Okay. All right. Parking brake is set. Let's see if the auto throttle works here. Okay, so let's zoom in on the panel and let's turn the auto throttle on. Ah, auto throttle works. Transponder will set to TARA. Taxi lights uh, can come off. Strobe lights on. Landing lights on. Yep, that looks good. Alright, we get ready to go. Why I'm on... Oh, I'm on 3.06 Papa uh, because of the MCP panel. This, this piece of hardware here, um, when Zebo changed from 3.06 papa to 3.1 uh, he changed the heading sync data ref so i need someone who's a guru who i can go in and modify my mcp panel profile to go to the new data ref for for the heading sync so yeah i, I yeah 3.06 papa is also pretty stable for the most part all right parking brake is off uh, should we try N1? No, it didn't work. Toga button's working. Here we go. V1, rotate, positive rate, uh, gears on the move. Oh. Wow, I gotta do one more of those. Wow, that's so cool. All right, LNAV, VNAV. Command A. It all worked. <laughs> oh. 
Well, VNAV didn't work. It did for a second. There it goes. VNAV on. Command A on. Another flyby. Clean up the flaps. See you, Burlington, Vermont. Kind of loud there, the engine, huh? A little bit loud. Auto thr all throttles on, right? You're going to fly virtual helicopters? All right. Thanks for the, for the download link. Flying the ILS. How are you doing? Oh, APU? Yeah, APU's off. I, th I thought APU was off. Maybe not. Yeah, APU's not off. If you bleeds off. Okay, flaps are clean. Uh, let's go to the legs page. Uh, what is VNAV? Uh, vertical navigation. Vertical navigation profile. Lean. Jet engines are supposed to be loud. That is very true. About to fly to Washington from JFK. Very nice. What uh, what plane? Are you flying from from JFK to and which Washington? Dulles or or other? All right, autopilot is on. Uh, we can go ahead and change our altitude up to two three thousand. Put our gear in the off position. Ronald Reagan, nice. DC-8. It's slow on the uh, altitude roll. But everything else is working s nicely. I mean, what was really cool... What's really cool is that that uh, VNAV and the LNAV button and the Command-A and the auto throttle all worked. The only thing that didn't work so far is the I could didn't hit N1 and it didn't it didn't use N1, but I can live with that. Uh, the bottom of the layout of Viper is uh, type in exclamation overlay, and you'll get a link to the Benny Sim software. Ben, uh, Benny Sim, uh, he was in the chat here earlier today. Um, the advantage of the Benny Sim overlay is that it is immediate information, uh, whereas other overlays, if they're pulling from a server, there's a bit of a delay. Uh, this is instantaneous. So right now it shows my altitude is 11,600. I mean, it's exact. It's, it's, it's exact. I'm on a heading of 216. My ground speed is 354. My indicated airspeed is 279. It's, it's exact. So yeah. Yep. Auto brake can go to off. Yep. Thank you. Once we get to eighteen thousand, actually SOP says we can turn off some lights. How how would you care? How would you guys uh, say the sound is the engine sound? Is it too loud? Should I turn it down a little bit, or is it uh, is it just fine? There's sixteen thousand. You think it's okay? All right, cool. Thanks, Creeks. Thanks, Viper. Lars Ras is betting 10,000 JFM on black.
turn down just a little bit because it's a little loud in my headset, but that's kind of cool right there. A little bit of ortho. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend 10000 on 31. Might as well do some trivia. Some trivia! There's 230, we'll go standard pressure. Oops, wrong one. There we go, standard pressure. Over here on the first officer side, also standard pressure. Time for some chillaxing. Yeah. Aviation's a horrible career choice when Mother Nature strikes. I hear you, man. ETE means time in the air. Uh, ETE, I think, means... Um, yeah, I think it is. Yep. Yeah, ground speed is the speed the aircraft is making over the ground, yep. So in this case, yeah, we're 385 right now. We have a tailwind as well. 16 knot tailwind. You, if you look down here on the IXEG, can I pop that one out? No. Yeah, tailwind, uh, 16 knots. Am I from Florida? No. I'm in Utah. Estimated time en route. Yeah. All right. I think we need to do some panel testing. So... Let's uh, pretend we got vectors for traffic. <laughs> so we come over here. Let's do, uh, we'll sink our heading bug. We're heading 216 right now. We'll go heading select. And then I'm going to rotate this to 200 and, or 190 heading. There we go. Bam shakalaka. MCP panel for the win. All right. Now we can turn back to our original heading of 216, which you'd never get for ATC. But I heard IXCG had some issues on release. Is it doing better now? Uh, it's, it's doing pretty well right now. I even did major changes on my FMC during the pre-flighting. And it seems to uh, seems to be following it perfectly. All right, we're back on the heading. Um, I'm now going to uh, re-engage the LNAV. 
which it did, but there we go. It's lit up now. Now I'm going to pretend I need an altitude change. So I'm going to set this to just 22,000 as a test. And I'm going to go into vertical speed mode. No, it doesn't like vertical speed mode. Let's turn off the VNAV. Vertical speed. No, let's see what happens when we turn the VNAV back on and we rotate our vertical speed here. Nope, that doesn't work either. All right, so we set a new altitude. Let's try the altitude intervene button. Nope, that doesn't work. How about level change? Level change does work. So we're now going to go to our new altitude of 22,000. And we're off of the VNAV. Sync rate, sync rate. All right, we're leveling off at 22. Uh, how do you make those camera, what do you mean creeks? Uh oh, there, okay. There's the turn. We're making the turn here on the on the LNAV profile, so that's good. All right, let's go back up to twenty three thousand, which is. It, I wish you could go by hundreds rather than tens. I'll have to look into that, and we'll do level change. Back up to tw flight level two three zero. Should make an entire virtual cockpit. That'd be pretty fun. All right, let's look at uh, our descent is in 115 miles. This will be my 25th flight in the A320. Used to always fly the 737. You know what? <laughs> Speaking of the A320, I have been having a ball beta testing the uh, Fly Factor A320 Ultimate. The A320 Ultimate from Flight Factor is is so fun. It is. I'm so looking forward to uh, flying it on the stream live and. Uh, They've done a they've done a great job. There there are issues. It's still in beta, but it's I'm a Boeing guy, right? And I'm loving this new Airbus. So hopefully, hopefully it comes out uh, this year. All right, uh, we can re-engage the VNAV. VNAV is re-engaged, so that works. All right, let's set up for the approach, even though it's way, way early. Flight plan, procedure, appro approach. ILS-23. Uh, maybe we should do... I get... Maybe we should do. Mm, yeah, two three is fine. Procedure, approach, ILS two three. Uh, we'll go from putt. So ILS frequency. Root. Uh, yeah, ILS two three already set up. Can't remember if I did the putt transition or not. Uh, Whipper three, ILS two three. Yeah, we'll go on vectors before that. That's fine. So. I'll be honest, this, this IXCG is really tempting me towards X-Plane. I just had some bad experiences from X-Plane years ago that are keeping me back. Yeah, Jorkland, um, I, 
X plane 10 was a little bit difficult to, to to manage, but I started on 10, and I really appreciated 11 when it came down to more flexibility with with setting up controls and bindings and and it's just a solid solid sim. It really is a solid sim. Uh, X plane 11. No, it does not have built-in charts. This is uh, my iPad. This is my iPad. And we need to get down to uh, Kuska at 1900. Kuska. I think we'll go on vectors. Yeah, so. Let's delete. Uh, how come I can't get rid of that one? Delete. Let's move that out there. Delete. Delete. And we'll probably... Yeah, I think I'll just go directly from Norfolk up to Putt. And then on in. How do you make the flyby cameras? Yeah, they're just built in to X-Plane. So if I hit Shift 2, hold down Shift and hit 2, it does that flyby. If I hit Shift 2 again, I can actually move the mouse or move the view myself. I can actually make it so it comes right straight at me. And then shift uh, one gives me a static aircraft and I can say, oh, I wanna look at that golf course down there. <laughs> golf course. Uh, shift three gives me a view from the ground. It's a runway view. Shift four gives me a circle view. Shift 5 is uh, from the nearest tower. Shift 6 is a kind of a cool view. Now it's the back and I have, I have complete control to zoom in on particular parts of the... Like I can come and check out. Ooh, look at the PBR. How does that look? And I can come around this way. Look underneath, up and around. Zoom out. Zoom in. I mean, look at that. Complete control, all default. That's a hell of a turn into approach. Great for flybys. Yeah. Oh, 111 out from Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Okay, we're over Albany, New York. So this is the capital city of New York. And we have three golf courses. Bucky Official was the first one in with the uh, golf course emote. JFM add Bucky. Give him 2300. Oops. How come that didn't work? There we go. What I love about X Point Eleven has an enormous amount of free scenery. I've even managed to find scenery for local airports in Poland. Ah, oh, you're from Poland. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good that way. Lots of free scenery. Okay, so let's look at the descent again. Uh eighty miles to the top of drop. We'll go ahead and reset. Uh I'm gonna use this to reset down to nineteen hundred. Get it close to the ballpark and then we'll rotate this. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to change that to the hundredths. Maybe a lot of the free. Yeah, like look at Mr. X San Francisco. 
Mr. X, San Francisco is probably the best freeware airport ever ever made. Yep. All right, let's set up the ILS frequency. Uh, 109.3. Let's try our voice commands. Set nav one one o nine point three. Set nav one one zero nine point three. NAV one set to one zero nine point three. Set nav two one zero nine point three. NAV two set to one zero nine point three. And let's set up the course of two two seven. So we'll rotate that two two seven. R. Wilson, trucker boy, how you doing? All right, there's uh, two two seven set, and on the first officer side, we'll also set up two two seven. I've decided that the Airbus A320. Uh, auto lands a lot better than the Zebo, but I tend to not auto land. Oh wait, I might pass it. Two two seven. Okay. So ILS is set. We'll go ahead and come down here, and we will set the auto brake. Three. I auto only auto land after ten or more beers. <laughs> I hear you, man. You're planning on doing the same thing, sick of uh, the P3D performance issues. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That there's that's right there, Viper's a reason a lot of people won't switch is because they've invested so much time and effort into to P3D. And I did as well. I put in probably two grand into P3D back in twenty I ended it in 2015, um, but yeah, I was pl I was flying the NGX uh, and the A2A aircraft pretty heavily from 13 2013 to 2014 up till up till October of 2015 is when I made the switch. Average gamer, how you doing? I'm doing well. Lovely and hot in Washington today. Going to turn the cabin chillers on after landing. There you go. Top of descent in 60 miles. You've stopped buying add-ons until you get your head where you're going after Steam Edition? Yeah, I hear you. You started on FS2002 and since I, uh, then I got used to Microsoft P3. That's what switching... Yeah. I know. It's a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing to do because you're so used to a certain way things operate. Um, yeah. The... Uh, but I hear you, man. But after being on next next month will be two years on X plane. Now it's hard for me to go back and try. I can't even fly the other sim. But yeah, I started on Microsoft Flight Simulator um, uh, in 1986. 1986. In fact, I have, you guys want to see a picture of my sim from 1986? Some of you guys have already seen this. Here's my sim. Here's my sim from 1986. 
here's my sim from 1986. It's coming up here in just a second. There it is. There is what I simmed with in 1986. Otherwise known as P3DV version 4. Or 5. Yeah, I started with 1.0. Microsoft Flight Simulator 1.0 in 1986. In 1986, I was I was a youngster. The version that was made in '93, you played in '06. There you go. I bet you thought that was the bee's knees back then. Oh, Jorkland. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the okay. So I, in high school. I had, I was 14, 14, I was a freshman. I had a video uh, a video class. I don't know how they don't have those anymore, but back then I had a vi and I had to produce a video. And so I uh, they they had this huge camcorder, gigantic camcorder set up in the classroom. And I had to present something and they filmed it. Well, I presented Flight Simulator on my Macintosh, my Apple Macintosh. I brought up Flight Simulator and I showed how I control the aircraft and fly the aircraft around. And they filmed it in 1986, and the, and the, some of the kids were like, "Whoa, whoa!" So, yeah, you started flying uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator in '88, version three. Yeah, Rudyism. I remember that the sound was cr uh, when crash was horrific. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Your first flying game was Top Gun. I didn't even know they made a Top Gun game. You had a video class in 2003, took the place of my required speech class. Pretty useful, actually, yeah. I wish I had that I wish I wish had that video that was made. I wish I could get my hands on that video that was made of me demonstrating Flight Simulator in 19... I, I, can you imagine playing that right now? Your first uh, FS was 2004? Yeah. And, of course, after Flight Simulator version 1, I went to every version every version since and it came out every like two years so and like I say that to next uh, about a month from now I celebrate a little less than a month from now I celebrate uh, two years on uh, X-Plane first one to rock the X-Plane 11 emote gets John Fly Miles alright uh, 27 miles to the top of a descent plane's looking pretty good Oh, the dirts. The dirts got it. I think I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's the NFL or if it's the school starting again or I, I don't know what it is but the twitch viewerships have gone down a little bit for not just me for for people have been talking about it in general the viewerships have gone down people are just i don't know fall tv coming in to play i don't know people are busier i don't know but that's okay we have a good crowd he beats you by milliseconds on the golf course. <laughs> All right, there's the turn. Two. We're going down to ORW. Which is Norwich. The flight community will never die. Yeah, it's a nice little community. I like it. All right, our estimated time of arrival is 1754 Zulu. Uh, 
Uh, so I'm going to go into heading mode. I'm going to sync my heading bug, actually. I'm going to go into heading mode. And I'm going to go on a heading of nine... No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go north for a bit. So we'll fly heading uh, zero three zero. We're gonna still uh, descend down to nineteen hundred slowly. And I need to change this view a little bit here. I like that view. Um, I'm gonna change my sp well. Yeah, I'll change my speed down to 250. Let me take over the speed here. Let's see, let's take off the VNAV. Now let's go down to 250. So 250 knots on speed. Actually that heading. Yeah, right there is good heading. What's me vector, Victor? Uh, Bird, do you want to give uh, flying the, a permit? All right, let's tighten up this heading a little bit. We'll go zero four zero. MCP panel's working great. I'm really pleased. Thanks, Bird. Is the Q400 update free? Yes, it is. If, yeah. As long as, you know, yeah. As long as you are an owner of the, the original. Yep. You just re-download re the plane. Oops. Yeah, it does save the wallet. Yep. Hope the twin jet. I hope the seven three two uh twin jet comes out pretty soon. Alright, we'll go into vertical speed mode. Uh, oh, that button didn't work. Let's try it on in the cockpit. There we go. And we'll go down. Yeah, we'll go down to 800 feet per minute. That's fine. The 732 already looks stunning. Yes, it does. Yep. And there, there's a profile for this panel for it, but I can't get it to work yet. Yet is the keyword. All right, R. Wilson, have fun. Uh, Meta Marty, the MCP has switches under the rotary encoders. I'm using the HD, HDG switch to enable user control over the bank ankle function. If you are in contact with the driver developers, you might be able to get them to support bank, bank angle and put that way. That would be nice. Definitely would be nice. All right, we're passing. Oh, I'm going to increase this vertical speed a little bit here. So there's 1300. I'm going to go ahead and slap on the lights.
All right, I'll show you guys where we are. So we're just coming in off. We're doing a right downwind for runway 23. Uh, we're going to go ahead and vector. I'll probably vector out this way. Yeah, in fact, we can do that now. We'll go on a heading of uh, 90. So I'll change this heading to 90. I think this plane with the MCP panel is pilot edge worthy. We may need to take this on pilot edge in, in the very, very near future. In fact, I would say this the, the IXCG, it works pro the the MCP panel is more complete than it is on the Zebo, but the Zebo is, you know, 90%. This is probably more like 95% functional. The only thing I haven't been able to get to work is the N1 uh, vertical speed. Uh, we'll come in and we'll find out if uh, how the loc and the approach button uh, work. Everything else seems to be quite functional. Quite pleased. All right, we'll increase this descent a little bit more. And we're going to take our speed back to 230. It wants my gear to come down here pretty soon, but not yet. Put some speed brakes on for the moment. All right, now we can turn. A little bit late in our vector. We'll go ahead and uh, one fifty, one sixty is fine. Change our speed. Go 180. Uh oh. And I continue our heading.
Okay, I'm gonna arm the localizer button. V O R loc lit up. Do a full detent here for a bit. All right, arm spoilers. Arm spoilers. Spoilers armed. Okay, we're going to intercept it at Kuska. Localizer is still locked. We can go additional flaps, two, and we'll slow down to 170. Should intercept here pretty soon. I'm gonna hide, go gear down. Additional flaps. All right, hopefully we turn to intercept that localizer. Get your landing rate guesses in now. We're landing at Providence, Rhode Island. Please intercept the loc. Please intercept the loc. Speed today will be 125. There we go, we've intercepted. And we'll arm the approach. Okay, the approach is armed. A little more flap speed, slowing down. We are Pretty slowed up. We'll keep the speed up here for just a little bit. Okay, there's the glide slope coming in. The guesses are 223, 135, 167, 234, 289, 225, 197, 195, and 64. Okay, they're flops thuddy. And we'll bring that back down. You hear that trim wheel? I will go 125. Pretty slow. Flaps are 30. We have uh, gear down, green, light, cleared to land. Uh, auto brake is set. Spoilers are armed. No, they're not. Arm spoilers. Spoilers armed. No, they're not. Snucks, sucky suck. Oh, yeah, they are. 1,000. AJ, how you doing, man? Good timing. Sink our... We'll probably just auto-throttle it all the way down until... It's interesting, it's not showing me the... Uh, Oh yeah, it is 1.7. No, 1.1.6. 1. 1. Yeah, 1.6, 1.7. 1. We should do pallet edge. Four hundred. 
400. Autopilot off my airplane. Silence the alarms. Little course correction. Decision height, landing. Reversers in. Manual braking. 138 was the landing rate. A little bit uh, past where I wanted to land, but all in all, not too bad. Whoa. Chuckle Hut. Can I get a confirm at Chuckle Hut 1? All right, let's, uh, let's go over here and get rid of the... Auto brake, and we also want to get rid. Oh, continue our taxi. Oops. Uh, spoilers. There we go. Welcome to Providence, Rhode Island. There's the terminal. All right, let's come up here and let's turn the taxi light on. Uh, landing lights can come off. Logo light is in up. Strobes off. Position on. Any collision on. Taxi light is on. We'll start the APU. Taxi to terminal. All right, Chuckle Hut, nicely done. How many people we got in here? 90 something? 98. JFM add Chuckle Hut 9800. Careful how, f how far you taxi in Rhode Island. You, you may leave the state. <laughs> yup. Oh, you know what I forgot to set? Yeah, I forgot to set my barrel. My bad. Checklist. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. We'll watch the replay of that landing. And I had food delivery. Check what now? A list you say? <laughs> nom 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 nom.
Okay. We are stopped. I'm gonna start doing replay. Before I do anything. side all right a little side pressure there and after I land the taxi has got a is just not not the strongest hold your beers Tower's blocked by a tree. They need to cut that tree down. That was a good landing. Why is Western landing in Rhode Island? That's a good question. <laughs> 